Do you want to become a public speaker with your own personality and flair? Do you want to become one of those people like Tony Robbins or Jim Rohn or Brian Tracy and you go out and people instantly recognize you because of your own unique style and flavor? If that's what you want to do, today's video will help you understand how to build your own screen presence both virtually and in real and build up your own style and tone so that people can instantly recognize for you your own personality. So let's get started on how to develop your own unique personality and brand as a public speaker. So first of all, first most important thing is if you want to find your own personality, you have to go out onto the stage more often. That's the number one criteria. You have to put yourself out there. That is when you would learn because in your head, you might be imagining this is what you would want to do. You might want to become motivational and energetic and passionate as Tony Robbins. So you might want to become more, sort of, more funny and pause and humorous like Jim Ron. In, in reality, you might actually want to have a different flavor altogether like maybe some, something like Robin Sharma who has this polite voice which goes around he never raises his tone and voice i don't know what would you want to be but what's most important is that you go out there and find it out for yourself because as you go out and you realize certain things comes easier and certain things comes more harder to you and you will spend more and more time in front of the audience you will recognize that what your audience loves you for and it is going to be something authentic and true to yourself that is a given but to find that, to discover that, you have to go out in the public. You can never create that. That's an important footnote you have to remember. You cannot create your own unique style. You will discover it and find it out for yourself. Second, find your audience. There is a, there is a very common saying in the world of marketing and that is that if your audience is everyone, then your audience is no one. And that also applies to your public speakers as well. I mean, if you think about it, motivational speakers, stand-up comedians, religious and spiritual leaders, they all have an audience. They all have a style, they have a personality because they cater to a specific audience and their specific needs. Now, if you go out there and try to speak to everyone about every single topic, what you'll quickly realize is that people are losing audience and not remembering you enough. First of all, because if you're going to focus on broad topics and to broad different themes, uh, what will happen is that you will not turn out to be an expert in anything because you will have shallow understanding of, of most topics beyond two or three core areas. And when you're going to speak about those shallow topic, you will realize that the audience will find that out very quickly and they would not peg you as an expert and would not want to listen to you anymore. So what you would want to do is you find an audience, learn about that audience, understand what they care about, what their problem statements are, what they want to know, how you can help them out. And that is when you start to develop your own personality and style because you focus on that particular persona and build your brand around it. Finally, take feedback. Take feedback from your audience, take feedback from other speakers, take feedback from your critiques. You may feel like you're doing something good and you might be. Take feedback and find those things what you are doing good. Take feedback and also find out what you're doing bad. What I want you to do is to be very, very open to the ideas and suggestions that are given to you by qualified people. But the word qualified is very, very important. You do not want to take opinions from everyone. Everyone will have an opinion. Your mom will have an opinion. Your cat will have an opinion. Your neighbor will have an opinion. But they may not necessarily have qualified opinion. They may not necessarily know what's best. So what you want to do is first you take feedback from the audience. How do you do that? Well, first of all, you observe how the audience is responding to what you say. If they like it, it's good. If they don't like it, it's bad. As simple as that. Second, you can ask more general questions after the show is over. Maybe send them a feedback form and ask them what were the elements you enjoyed the most and what they didn't enjoy the most and you might get a little bit more subjective answers but that will help you understand what areas you have done good and you might actually find surprising areas where you thought you were bad or boring but you were actually good that will help second is you want to take feedback from other speakers if you can possibly you can join a community like toastmasters where they can provide you with a lot of speakers just passionate as passionate as you are and give you feedback but you want to take feedback from people who have been into the stage and learn some of the things of the craft you want to learn and then finally, if it's possible, find yourself a mentor or a coach who can also help you go there. It may not it may come out as a surprise to you, but all great speakers have coaches. So take people, find a coach and take feedback from them. If you follow these three techniques, you'll realize that you will develop your own personality and style in quite a bit of time because it does take time. I do not want to lie about that, but you will eventually get there. 
So I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please hit that like button and share it with your friends and family and also please add your comments in the comment section and let me know what did you enjoyed about the video and what, what next thing you would want me to talk about. Till then, have a great day.